Peggy 16. Hi, I'm Steve Hart. I'm senior producer here at Rebellion and lead on Sniper Elite V2. I'm here today to show you uh, an exclusive level not seen before, which is the, uh, the Tear Garden Flak Tower. You would have seen glimpses of the game before, but here for the first time, we're going to be showing you uh, a full range of sniper action. In this mission, we're looking to navigate through a brewery section. After making your way quietly through the warehouse, you come out into a street situation. To make things even harder, the whole environment is swarming with German and Russian forces fighting each other. Inside the flat tower, it really is like cat and mouse. Avoid soldiers at all costs and make your way to the roof. As always, it's not easy. The guy you have to take out, Muller, is secure in a locked down command post. The only way that you can take him out is with a perfect shot. And once you've taken that shot, all hell breaks loose and you've got to fight your way back down through the tower to safety. You don't have anyone helping you out in an earpiece. It's just you, your skill and your weapon. But at the same time, trying to stop this uh, V2 rocket technology falling into the wrong hands, the hands of the Russians. In real life, the V2 rocket technology and scientists behind it became part of what's now known as the NASA program. So you can gauge the importance of the mission from that. The Flak Tower is actually modelled on the real Flak Tower that was positioned in Berlin Zoo during the war, known to the locals as Zoo Bunker. We set off and researched what were the actual dimensions, what was the construction, how thick the walls were, and we, we began building our own Flak Tower model. So we start off building a level by just literally drawing a top-down map. We figure out where everything is and, and what the proportions are. From there, we build what we call a white box, which is a, a low detail model of, of the whole level. Uh, and that's really what we stick with for a while. Uh, once we're happy with the way everything's laid out, then we hand it over to the artists and they begin the process of making it look great. Starting with the art team, we have concept artists who look at reference photography and draw up aspirational images of what we'd love this level to look like. We look at reference photography, we try to get blueprints wherever we can, so in this level there's a lot of destruction going on and it actually makes our life as artists a whole lot more difficult to do this. Making damaged and destroyed buildings takes about three times as much effort as making a pristine building. Part of making the level believable is that we've included propaganda posters both for the Germans and the Russians. We work with our team of artists to author new posters which are believable as using the same sort of style of artwork, using the same colour palettes. We've been consulting with a military historian and he mistakenly said, oh, I've never seen these posters before and uh, hadn't realised that these were ones we had recreated specifically for this game. The kill cam showcases what really happens when a bullet passes through your body. We look to track that bullet as it, as it enters and the damage that it does to bones, to organs, uh, how it shatters and damages and tears those. plan, observe, then execute. 